Hey guys, so today we're gonna to look at how to fix an error with Adobe software, with Creative Cloud specifically, where it tells you you don't have access to manage apps. I came across this problem myself when I upgraded my computer. I used a Time Machine backup and then it no longer recognized uh, my account so I couldn't update my apps and I couldn't download any new apps. Um, it's actually a relatively easy fix and let's get into it now. So this is the error that you'll see. And the first thing you want to do is to quit Adobe software. All Adobe software and specifically Creative Cloud. Next, you want to open up your finder, go to library, application support, Adobe, and then OOBE. Inside that file, configs, and then this is the file that you want, serviceconfig.xml. Simply copy this file and paste it to your desktop. After that, you need to open this file with text edit, and we're gonna alter the file itself. Here you'll see it says false. You simply want to change that to true, save the file, and close it. Save the file and close it, and then you're gonna to come to the original file, and you want to just move that to the bin, delete that, it'll ask you for a password, just type that in and then drag and drop the new one. It's gonna ask you to authenticate it. And then again, ask for another password. After that, simply just close this out. And so what you'll need to do now is to restart your computer before it will take any effect. If you try and open Creative Cloud now, you'll still get the same error message. So you need to restart and it will reset everything. And from there, once you have restarted your computer, you can just simply go over to your Creative Cloud open it up and you should see that all the apps have been restored. You can download new ones, you can update your existing ones and that's it all sorted. This is an exceptionally easy way to fix it and I just couldn't find it when I was looking myself and I had to contact Adobe and they walked me through it step by step on how to fix it. Um, so that's why I'm making this video for you guys. So if you're looking to fix it yourself, to save you some time having to connect to Adobe's services, you can just do this quick fix and hopefully it will get sorted for you. If this was helpful for you and you managed to actually solve the problem, please do give this video a like. If you like videos to do with photography and I guess software that we use for photography, please do give me a subscribe and, uh, for more videos like this. And I'll hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.